Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as France in our Succession series with the historical gamer XTRG and myself, Tortuga Power, now playing as Admiral Turtle Power, his uh, Admiral Tortuga Power son. I am like seriously excited about the state of affairs right now with this treaty. I am so excited. Um, yeah, it, we have plenty of time left on the treaty. To, to let's see i mean we can get good destroyers out we can get good light cruisers because we just got forget trying to make the lalanda class work unfortunately this is just a, a test but now ultimately like a disaster of a light cruiser because we can now afford an even better light cruiser i mean not afford but we can't afford technically but we can now build four six inch guns on it which is just what can stand up to that nothing well i mean anything bigger than a light cruiser can. However, it should be the queen of light cruisers, and that's what I plan on making, is a light cruiser class that we can just keep for the rest of the game. That nobody has to think about designing a better one because it doesn't exist. Which is uh, silly to say by itself because as you get incremental improvements in hull design, armor, etc., it should make um, any design better. But nonetheless, let's just move on step by step here. Yeah, and we it, it would expect that this is going to happen. You can see that these guys have 8-inch guns. They are well, 31 knot heavy cruiser. This is pretty good. We're going to see a revival of armored cruisers because of this naval treaty, which is what makes naval treaties so cool. And you, and I'm having this really long discussion with Ram JB. If you don't know who he is, he's another good content creator. Um, I highly recommend you check out his stuff. He has some fant fantastic series on um, Silent Hunter. Anyway, uh, in my episode 9 of this series, uh, he and I are having a pretty lengthy discussion. I might leave a oh, ship design, I guess. I might leave a link for it in the description even because uh, he is making some good points. I'm not sure if I agree with everything yet, but he, I may end up agreeing with him on everything by the end of the discussion. <laughs> so we'll see about that. He's, he's very knowledgeable about this era, so that's very cool. Now what else do we want to talk about? Let's see. I don't think we need to talk about anything. Let's just advance turns. Um, some commissioned destroyers, which is always good. We should probably also retrofit all our old ships. Now is the time. Now is the time to retrofit... Ooh, the Devastation's back. Uh, Germany. I don't want to go to G war with Germany again, but... <laughs> We're evenly hated by all the nations in Europe. And then Japan and the United States are like, you know what? not really part of our continent so there was some upgrades I wanted to make like for example did I make the upgrade to the Richelieu yet I don't think so and now we are back positive yeah these are quality 16 uh, negative one guns we'll definitely get those up to this um, I might decrease the midship okay so again this is in my opinion like it's good to experiment, but I don't see any advantage of having the midship gun just because of turret arc. It doesn't have any advantage, and neither does it have any advantage in weight. So if we decrease this, um, we don't have to do this, but you can just see there's no advantage, weight advantage, for putting um, the turret in the middle. So in that case, you might as well... Well, I guess on the one, on the one hand, I am correct by saying these things, but on the other hand, if you wanted to do a superimposed, those would be as expensive, or more expensive than this one. So if you wanted a slightly less expensive third turret, then this is not a bad place to put it. Okay, so I stand corrected. I shouldn't have been so hasty to judge this design. Um, what are we gonna need? What the heck did I? I must have chosen the wrong thing. Yeah, I did open design versus open design for rebuild. This is, uh, now we only have this much left over. Oh, the reason why we have all that, um, okay, that explains it. If we decrease this gun by just one, which I'm still kind of contemplating doing, this goes from 40,000. Oh yeah, we're rebuilding the turrets anyway, so now's the perfect time for us to do whatever we want. So let's take the Richelieu down. Let's make this battle cruiser extremely fast. Um, by replacing machinery, good god. But what better time to do all these things, right? A 29 knot battle cruiser with. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy cow. 
I don't think there's, um, there was a discussion about this on the forum, and I don't remember exactly the number, but I think six is the highest you can get penetration on. Uh, making the, the, the turret top any higher than six, I think, doesn't even have an effect, or is not, uh, there's no noticeable effect. Something like that. So we'll make this turret uh, top six, which might even give us enough, well, we could decide to establish secondary guns on this now. Um, do we have, we might, we could put a few five inch guns on this, right? I mean, good God, we actually have, now this is a design I actually don't think we need torpedoes for, because um, oddly enough, it'll, it should be going too fast for torpedoes. Okay, so let's clear this. Oh, we're just making all kinds of crazy adjustments. We get one more. Oh my god, this is awesome. This is truly awesome. Okay, I might want to get one more. No, 110 at 16. Yeah, that's fine. That's actually more than fine. So do we cut this down to 5.5? I think so. Maybe we can get this up to 12.5. Cut this down to 5. I think I'm still okay with that. That is a very, very powerful turret defense at 5. Just to give you perspective, the deck for us is only 3. Turret top of five, I mean, I, w I think you can gain something by having turret top of six, but um, yeah. Oh, we should get oil on this, of course, which is going to give us a little bit extra to play with. How much extra? Wow, 13 and 5.5. Jeez, oh, man. I'm really enjoying these designs. <laughs> Do we perhaps want to go with less? We currently have seven guns per side in their five inch guns. So they're just going to ward off destroyers, basically. Very good at warding off destroyers, but they're not... Uh, we'll probably be using the 16-inch guns. Honestly, if you're going with 16-inch guns as your primaries, I think anything higher than 15 almost is mandatory to put 6-inch guns on because the difference is so huge. It's, it's a bit silly. But we, we can't afford it anyway, so it doesn't matter. This is incredible. A Speed 30 Battlecruiser. I mean, I could take this down a little bit more. What what benefit do I want to get out of this thing now? Oh, well, how about improved director? Is there anything else we want to change? So we have a very good turret defense, extremely good belt, very good deck. This is a great ship. This is a great ship. I mean, it's a 36,000 ton battlecruiser, so we expect it will be, you know, <laughs> pretty good. Very interesting. Yeah, I, and I agree with myself, funny thing to say, but I don't think we need those torpedoes. We'd have to slow down to 25 knots in order to use them, and with oil, we won't need to slow down for like fouling of the grates or anything like that, so we can probably maintain 30 unless we get pretty heavily damaged. And if we're getting pretty heavily damaged, that's not usually the best time to launch torpedoes anyways. If you're listing or whatever, there's a huge penalty to launching torpedoes or to their accuracy, I'm not sure which. So let's leave it just like this. Okay, you may remove turrets, but not add turrets, or change the number of guns and turrets with the same caliber. What the heck? Say, say, oh, you may not change the number of guns in turrets with the same caliber. Interesting. So it's saying we can't do what I wanted to do. Six guns per side, take this down. Well, if we go down to 28, we can still retain all the other advantages we have. Hmm. What is better, having the six five-inch guns per side or having an extra knot of speed? We're now back to casual levels of speed. 28 knots, I mean, it's really fast, but it's not going to be outrunning in any main way uh, any of the ships. And by the way, this ship is not going to be good if it's not, if it's not fighting on a... Uh, on a broadside, it has to be fighting with its broadside, obviously, because that's the only way we get four um, tenths, forty percent of our guns can only be fired on broadside. Uh, ho hum, ho hum. So our two choices here are either to increase the speed to twenty nine, or we can use this extra weight and just increase our five inch guns. I mean, we can make them six inch guns. Okay, how about this? We'll do this instead. Since we're going to put our secondary directors on, we're going to get eight six-inch guns per side. That seems good to me. 
Still don't need the torpedoes, even though we're only three knots away from being able to launch it now. We still have really... I guess we could drop this down just a smidge uh, in order to get that extra speed back. How much is it? Three? Okay. Well, I think it's still do... Oh my god, it's not doable from these. Yeah, that's. this is only costing us like 130 to upgrade to 6-inch guns, so we're going to upgrade to the 6-inch guns. Maybe we'll drop this down to 105. How far down do we have to go? Okay. So if we drop this back down to 12, we can get back up to 29. And if we go down to 4.5, I mean, this is really starting... It's getting a bit lower. I think 4.5 is still fine, though. I'd rather 5, but if we're sacrificing that last half inch from 5 down to 4.5 just so we can get an extra knot, I think it's worth it. And I think we have enough to even go up to 18. Okay, great. So everything is done. This is still a little bit below. I'm, well, it's a little bit below weight. Barely. I like to leave more, but I don't see any way. Oh, God, our secondaries don't have armor. No wonder it's not costing anything. Well, you know what? I think that that, in that case, we have to do this, which is going to be expensive. Now we'll have to take these down to just uh, 6 per side, which is still okay. 5 per side, yikes. Now uh, things are starting to change for the worse. We can get that back up to 5. No, we cannot. Well, let's just do 100 guns because improved director means they should be hitting more often. Okay, so we, we danced around this ship for forever. I'm, it might not be perfect. If I was just playing by myself, I would sit there and uh, play with the numbers for another 15, 20 minutes just by itself. But this is a series we've got to keep it moving. So that's under reconstruction now. The Devastation has been reconstructed. Um, do we need to rebuild the rebuilds? Like what would this get us? 86. This would get us nothing. Basically nothing. So we don't need to rebuild those. That's good. How are these guys doing? They have, okay, so the Tortuga Power is the next one up then. I think we'll wait a little bit because we are a little bit strapped for money, but they will go through the next line. And then how does the THG2? She, wow, four inch guns, that's pretty small. Did I do open design for rebuild? I did, she has a, she, why does she have 200 just left over? You could just, you could add stuff for fun. Oh, we can switch her over to oil as well. This is going to be expensive. Okay, we're going to just modernize the entire French Navy. That's what this Turtle Power's two goals are, to modernize the entire Navy and to go to war with Britain. We'll see how those all those things play out. Above water tubes, absolutely. Well, we could have used that a little bit ago. I might have considered putting those on the uh, battle cruiser we just finished. What was it? The Richelieu. So we will buy that. We now have above water torpedo mounts on all ships. Okay, good. <laughs> the 13 and 14 Italian inch, uh, 13 and 14 inch Italian guns are both quality one apparently. I don't know why we're getting uh, Italian reports even though we have them on low intel. So another of these, uh, exactly the same, it looks like, uh, compared to the um, Italian armored cruiser we saw. For some reason, only 12,000. I wonder if the Austria-Hungary, are they a liberal democracy or something? I've never actually looked at this, but I'm, I always thought that they're a limited democracy, so they can... Yeah, they can exploit. I don't wonder why they didn't make that 13,200. <clears throat> Strange, but whatever. Two more turns, and then we have a few ships finishing. Those aren't going to actually bring us even to positive, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer. And there it is, folks. The game is over. <laughs> no, we'll, we will push on. So they do let you keep playing, which is very nice. And the hard cutoff is 1950. So at any t point in time, we can hit resign. We're not going to do that until X tier G is finished. Oh no, this is like uh, my worst nightmare. <laughs> they want us to build 21 new submarines. Now, I'm going to say of course because I want the budget. But let's just kind of take stock of our submarine situation. Right now we only have, what is this, 10? Yeah, we only have 10 submarines. Our, our, those 10 submarines are really good reliability. So our what is our research on submarines? I always leave it on the lowest because I, I don't like submarines. 
If you're playing by yourself and your only goal is to get really good results, submarines are amazing. Don't get me wrong, su submarines are very good. However, they're not fun. So I'm making a big uh, d distinguish, I'm going to distinguish between these two. That's why I should try to say. I'm not going to build a lot of submarines because it's not fun to watch your fleet slowly be blockaded while your submarines win the war for you. It's effective, but it's not fun. So that's why I'm going to avoid this. Now we have six months, so by May we should actually build the submarines if we want. I'm not sure I'm going to. Now we could just build, whoops, I guess we could build, uh, they only gave us, it looks like about two million. So building 20 of these would be, it doesn't, uh, but I mean, we could see it'd be 2.1. No, yeah, is uh, I don't know. We could do it. They will be disappointed with us, but I don't think they even take away the budget. Okay, good, our crews are now proficient. We have our three Lalan class. We now have 13 inch quality one guns. Not important because none of our ships are 13 inch guns. Now we're just waiting on, we have then <laughs> all, all four of the ships here are different classes. <laughs> the Turville, the Duquesne, the Napoli, and the Richelieu. How, what's the, we have three, four, we're almost there. Okay, so we can start doing the next set of retrofits, especially because, ah, the dream, it's happening. We're slowly inching closer to war with Great Britain. Okay, so who's next? I guess the Tortuga Power. We'll just go in order from top to bottom. Okay, so this will be expensive. We'll replace machinery as well. This is really expensive now. Six million for 10 months, good God. Uh, oil, director, improved director. Uh, since we have the time, five top is great. Actually, this is a really good design. I'm pretty happy with all this. I bet, I, I only wish the conning tower could be a little higher. That's um, usually is not too difficult to get that. And you know what? It's not gonna take very much at all for us to get the next knot. But at the same time, whoa, <laughs> we have this four inch guns, which are quality zero. So I think we're gonna have to undo some of the changes we wanted to do just because we absolutely have to get five inch guns. And it looks like we can even get a few more, which I would like to do. Okay, um, I might want a little bit more ammo for our 15 inch guns. This looks decent to me. So we are sacrificing our the extra speed, the extra knot. Um, a dreadnought fleet moving at 22 is a very good speed. It's unlikely that we'll fight uh, fight an enemy who has more than 22. Probably at most 22. You will see some dreadnoughts, some spattering of dreadnoughts which have speed 23, maybe even 24. But very unlikely they have a whole division of battleships or dreadnoughts with that kind of speed. And you know, the division only goes as fast as its slowest member. So what else do we need to do? We have improved, we got director. Is this a valid design? It is, we have 32 left over, which I kind of like to leave a little bit of tonnage. It, you can think of this as just flotation weight if you don't do anything with it. So it's, it's not bad to be a little bit underweight. Um, hmm. Is there anything else I would want to do with this? 12, 12.5, 4.5, that's really good. It's quite good. One, no, I think this is fine. I mean, it's quite expensive, so. <laughs> yes, yes, rebuild. And I'll just do the one for now. Uh, you know what, I think we can get it in. Three turns at, no, we can't, so we'll wait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It might happen sooner than we think. Sooner than I think. You guys might be light years ahead of me. We gotta redo these Cosmos too. The lawns are new. Uh, so we have some old ones right here. Let's take a look at these guys. They're, uh, I mean, we obviously have to prioritize these. So this is basically, somebody um, has been asking, uh, can we do a gunboat destroyer? Well, here you go, this is your gunboat destroyer. I normally don't like five inch guns on destroyers. In fact, the minimum weight you need to do five inch guns is probably 1100. This is, I don't know. Um, my rationale is what does a really good destroyer gunboat do? kills destroyers. 
What does a really good destroyer torpedo boat do? It kills battle cruisers, dreadnoughts, anything else. So yeah, between the two options, <laughs> I would much... It's rock, paper, scissors, basically. If you make a good destroyer gunboat, it's just rock beating rock. But if you make a good destroyer torpedo boat, it's rock beating scissors. In this case, scissors being massive dreadnoughts. So I think that the redesign for this is going to be nothing, though. Um, I guess with 5-inch guns, these will fire a little bit less often. How much do we need to even just central... Yeah, probably impossible to get any of these designs. Well, it is. I did want to modernize, so we could do this. I guess this is a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, they will have to stay at 31 because we want to get director of fire. I mean, and you need. I, I normally don't care about director firing, but yeah, you quite need it on a gunboat. So. so these will be continue to be really good torpedo gunboats. Can we add? I don't know. Can we add something? No, we don't have enough weight anyway to add, so. I wish I could change short range, can't do anything about that. Um, oh god, it's going to be really expensive. 2400 this is really cheap right now, but it's going to get a lot more expensive, but I think that's an investment we have to make. That's not so bad. That's not so bad. Okay, well, is there anything... Uh-huh. So too many main mounts will affect rate of fire. I guess that was already the case, because I didn't do anything to that, so... Uh, I guess we could remove some. So I don't know. I also don't understand this. Why would you make two wing turrets when you could just uh, have like? Can I add an aft? Does it will it let me? I can. I can. So then we can remove this starboard aft and uh, port aft. Okay. Is it gonna let me do it? Oh, this is ah. Oh, that's great. So we we didn't lose any of our broadside firing capability. We lost a little bit of our, I, I'm pretty sure that both of those guns, if I go back, if we undo essentially what just happened here, oops, no, aft, port aft, thank you. These guys can both almost fire rear now, so I guess they both can't fire together, so in which case, I thought they were like the, the wing turret guns, they're not wing. So the forward ones are wing, and they also can't fire directly forward, huh. I guess the ones I'm talking about are the one and two. So the three and four, I guess these, this would make more sense because these can both fire backwards. You can see that the angle there is basically uh, 45 on the opposite side. So they have a pretty good, this is, makes a lot more sense than doing anything else, but we're gonna delete these first. I'm gonna just pretend I can do this. I'm not sure if this would inhibit me. Okay, so it's still rate of fire. So let's just get rid of that to increase our rate of fire, which for a gunboat seems to be very important. Get our aft turret there. Um, we have 38 to play with. Can we get an extra knot? I think we can. Yes, we can. And with the little bit of remaining weight, we might as well just bump up our ammunition. Okay, let's just go to 185. Yeah, let's go to 185. That seems like uh, it's po probably possible to use 185 rounds of 5-inch guns, especially for destroyers. I mean, <laughs> they're going to be in the thick of it. So we'll leave it like that. This is still a decent ship because it does have four torpedoes. So it's not, not like totally barren of uh, deep potential. I mean, deep threat. So that's everything we need to do. Yep, we will rebuild this and we'll get the rest of those to be rebuilt as well. So we're, not, we're just going to spare no expense for rebuilding the ships so that everyone is in tip top shape by the time our term is over. Now, Turtle Power doesn't know his term is going to end in six years, so I'm going to, well, four years now. Uh, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to play into that hand. I'm going to try to just pretend that we're going to live a long and happy life. Not surely nothing will happen, right? Anything else? I'm forgetting. I always feel like I'm forgetting something. This, but here we go. 14-inch guns, a quality one. See. I'm going to do it just because I, I'm a glutton for buying technology. And the way technology works, as far as I understand, is if you get a research breakthrough for one of the um, gun technologies, that is triggered first. And then it rolls a separate dice to see which of the actual guns will be researched. So it's possible you roll the dice that, yeah, you're going to get a new advancement for a gun. And then you roll the dice again and you get this gun. But if you buy it, then when that dice is rolled, another gun comes up, which might be something more useful. 
But in fact, we don't need anything. Four and a half million <clears throat> at a time when we just don't need it. This is like one of the very rare moments where I'm actually going to decline a gun improvement. I just feel like we have 15 inch quality one guns. We have 13 inch quality one guns. I can't imagine a situation where we absolutely would just need a 14 inch quality one gun. So no thanks, which is so rare, but we've done it. Okay, uh, we can survive a little bit longer. And we have a few of these guys coming off. Now, I think there's still a bug in this version with accelerating construction. <clears throat> Let's just take a look here. I'm going to accelerate the Duquesne, which is supposed to be coming up next turn anyway, so I don't feel like this is cheating too much. But we're, we're supposed to have negative 6.6, .6, which would take us down to, uh, well, fifth, uh, sorry, 12.5, call it. But I think that it won't take us down that far. Okay. Duquesne finished working up. Good. Uh, we were expecting that. Ah, uh, yeah. So everyone's moving to this four thing. Ah, the Canada. The, the class we will soon probably be facing. Okay. And they're stuck on the old design just like we were. So our funds did not drop at all. And I think that that's a product that when you do advanced, I'm not sure. And this is only for version 1.33 final. It doesn't count against you. So I have to be very careful not to do that because it is cheating. And I, I don't like to cheat. I mean, single, I don't want to cheat because I'm doing it for you guys. I don't have any problems with people doing that on their own time. I mean, it's a single player game. You're not, you're just, it's not going to be as fun if it's not as challenging. But you just play to your own pace. Who am I to judge? So we have those. We have a positive budget again. So we can probably get, what's the next ship? We have 1919 here, which also has to be rebuilt. I think it's good to get these destroyers out of the way too because... Those are the first that will be sunk <laughs> when we go up against the British. Uh, how many minesweepers do we have? We might need some more. Oh, 24. I, I want more. Now, I forget what exactly this design looks like. I think there was something done. He added armor or he took it off or no. Wait, this is just identical. Okay, good. I, that's what I would want. So let's just um, keep building the 1922 style then. And I want at least six more. This is just for anti-submarine warfare. Again, these are extremely cheap, extremely cheap ships. I thought they were only 5,000. I've done something wrong. But anyway, 7,500 is still pretty cheap. I mean, it's 50% more than I expect. Wait, can I? Let's just clear and have this MS designed. No, um, auto design. 200, 17, this should be, <clears throat> um, we'd have to actually save this as a design, 7,500, it doesn't show you maintenance, unfortunately, until you actually complete the ship, you know what, forget it, not worth it, we'll just build it, it's, it's pennies that we're worried about here, so let's, let's not be too petty, okay, Oh, good, some more. And look at that, we got... <laughs> so this is exactly what I was talking about. If I had bought that technology from the United States, we might have been getting some other guns. Honestly, we don't need any other guns anyway. There's no guns. I guess, okay, quality 1 16-inch guns would be useful. Quality 1 17-inch guns would be insane. But we don't need any smaller guns. We don't need 7-inch guns. We don't need... We don't need any of these guns. And we have 9 million, so it's quite time to do our next set of retrofits. I guess that means you can get rebuilt. And we have 3 million left, so let's get down to the rest of the destroyers and stuff. Cosmos are a little bit dated, 8 years. I'm trying to do them in order here so that we don't have any ships who become obsolete during a war with, say, Great Britain. Yes, yeah, so let's do the Escapet. This one, it looks like it was also built in... Oh wait, is that... That was Historical Gamer Jr.'s term. Very interesting. So a lot of guns on this one. This is a destroyer? This is a, this is a cruiser, man. <laughs> a cruiser without armor, basically. Five-inch guns. It's got the four broadside configuration. I mean, I, I don't like it. Are we allowed to add torpedoes? I, I'm just curious. 
Yes. So what I'm going to do is probably eliminate these two rear guns and we'll put torpedoes in instead. So let me close this and reopen it, which is what will make this thing. I mean, it has six torpedoes. Let me add a mount, hopefully the Q. I'll just add three. Okay, that doesn't look unreasonable. Decrease. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm fine if this thing has... Oh, I decreased the wrong one. Dang it. Start over. I don't know what... I wasn't paying attention to the rebuild cost. If it went up significantly. Yeah, so that looks good to me. That looks fine. And then we got ourselves up to eight tubes, which is fine. Um, we replace the machinery and do oil. And that means that we actually can... Can we even swing this? Holy cow. This is actually going to be a really expensive rebuild because we're doing the other stuff instead. Director, my god. And this definitely needs more ammunition, so we will decrease this by one just so I can get enough ammunition because if you're going to have all these 5-inch guns, they're going to fire pretty fast. 5-inch guns are pretty high rate of fire, so obviously we need enough ammunition for them to, you know, to keep doing that. Speed of 33 is fine. That's uh, I think I made a ship with a speed of 33, my torpedo gunboat. I mean, no, not my gunboat, my torpedo boat, pure torpedo boat. So we'll save this, and we'll get the rest of those escapettes to be rebuilt. That'll probably take up the rest of our budget. Still, these are going to be rebuilt pretty quick. I say that, but that's actually a 10-month rebuild, which is practically a new destroyer. Huh. And I didn't really pay attention if... I increased all the stuff that I was supposed to. We did. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, we did all the things we needed to do. So it's still a really darn good destroyer. I don't like the gunboat style, though. In my opinion, you can have uh, maybe four guns, one, uh, three in the front and one in the rear. That would be fine. Or superimposed would be better. I think you can get superimposed rear already on the destroyers. But anyway, doesn't matter. The destroyers are really all about torpedoes, in my opinion. That's why I don't really think about these things. Okay. Aha! Okay, so I forgot about the submarines, but you know what? I'm fine with that. The Richelieu's been... Thing. I don't think it really hurt our budget much. Yeah. So I'm quite okay with the way things have gone. Um, maybe we can push to the end of 1927. I know it's been 32 minutes already, but... Let's just try to push on a little bit further. We have a good budget again, so... Next... Oh, the Archibus. This is the one I just made. Yeah, so let's just take a look at this guy. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, yes, there's no there's no complications. There's no nothing. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this one. And if we look, 23000 for this. I don't remember what these guys cost, so we'll wait for them to get back before I cast Judgment. But, I mean, this is a really nice ship. 23000 I really like that. Speed to 33. Again, that was a compromise we made to make it cheaper. So next up is the THG, I guess. We're at 4 million. Well, we can start working on these guys. Okay, so these are going to be expensive. At least we don't have to retrofit the main guns. But doing this is going to be expensive. And I guess we can get a little bit more ammunition. Uh, we probably don't need it that much. Oh, again, we're definitely going to replace the secondaries. Um, we're not going to mess with any of the turret armor because that would require a complete rebuild of the turrets. So even just changing this by 1, 29 goes up to 86 because you're completely rebuilding. So we're not going to do that. Um, it says it's not going to do it, but I'm just going to reset just like to be extra safe. So let's do it this way. This, this, place, oil, everything else is fine. <clears throat> we're going to spend all that money, I mean all that weight, getting the 5-inch guns. So... Oh, wow, we can only get 12. Oh, I don't think we can do this. Oh, what the heck? It's letting us do rebuilds into double turrets? What? Sacre bleu. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised. Huh. I mean, that's, that's really good. That's quite good. So six 5-inch guns on each side. That's something. And I, I don't mind the light secondary loads, because if we have enough light cruisers, those are going to be our secondary guns anyway. 
<clears throat> I still make them myself. I think it, the weight, I mean, it's worth it in my opinion, but that's okay. Oh, that low conning tower. That's the only thing I would change. My goodness. But that's okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Let me take a drink real fast. Hmm. Okay, there is some, another thing I would change. It's going slow enough to always be able to fire submerged torpedoes. So I just think it's worth it. Like, look at the cost. 27, negative 33. The chance to almost sink, to like seriously wound another ship for 60 tons out of 43,000 tons, it, to me, that's that's where this min-max comes in. It, it seems worth it. You're always going to be able to fire them because you're never going to be going too fast. Oh, and since these guys are at 22, it's actually fine. We'll make 22 our new fleet speed for all dreadnoughts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, other than that... Yeah, this is fine. I guess the only other thing is we could try to actually put torpedoes on, but nah, that's fine. The, they have big enough guns that they probably don't need it. And that means those re rebuilds are going to be pretty cheap, so we can probably do all four at the same time. Yeah, why not? Negative four million, negative three. Not bad. So everyone is retrofitted, except for our cruisers now, which we can... Uh, those guys are up next. I might undo the the, col the colonial status for these guys just to give them a little bit of extra space for maybe mines, um, extra armor, something, I don't know. Okay, Austria-Hungary, curb our naval program. Well, I, wow, tension has gone up, my goodness. I don't want to go to war with them. So let's choose this middle option. Oh, we did a disarmament conference. Okay, that's fine. Better submarines. That's, of course, it was probably programmed to happen, the better submarines. The moment that they asked you to build 21 more, they wanted you to start building the 21 and then have better submarines appear immediately after you spent all that money. I'm on to their game. <clears throat> In fact, <clears throat> excuse me, um, uh, what I didn't think about is you probably can build the submarines in May, which is the time period we missed, and then just scrap them all two months later to not lose the, not f face the ire of the French naval secretary. Um, and then you wouldn't take the prestige hit, but I don't know if, I don't really care about prestige, and I don't know if there's a budget hit for not doing what they say. I don't think so, in which case it doesn't really matter. Okay. Yeah, we'll sell the U.S. government because, one, we like the money, and, ooh, nice. I don't think we're going to go to war with the the Americans, those silly Americans. Okay, fleet tactics, better pre-battle enemy strength assessment. Okay, well, that might be useful. Hmm, okay, let's just, we're going to probably, now let's go one more month, and then we'll take stock of the situation. Now, I want to go to the end of 1926, actually. Oh, well, let's do this then. Let's see what kind of effect it has. <clears throat> seven. Okay, well, <laughs> my dream is coming true. <laughs> I I didn't really even temper with things. It, it just is happening that way. The the gods have willed it. So, so be it. We are ready. Okay, we're not ready until the THG comes back, but we're almost ready. Whoops, all that scrolling in okay I think we're gonna build some more minesweepers too if we're going up against the British they likely have a lot of submarines because they have a huge budget just an enormous budget so let's build some more minesweepers to compensate for that preemptively and it's only a million and 1.2 million I think it's worth it okay Good, we got the Tortuga power back. And we're positive again. Tensions have actually dropped with Great Britain. I'm not paying attention to this side of my screen every month, but I probably should. Um, okay, just one more quick month. Even though we're positive on budget, I could do something, but we'll just wait. Oh my god. Here, let's do it. <laughs> okay. 
Well, um, that's going to call this episode to a close. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show you the almanac. Can I just decline this? 45? It's just going to keep telling me to do another one and another one. So um, what I'll do is I'll accept this, and then we'll go to the almanac inside the game here. Who do we have? Which ones are you? The Cosmo. Okay, good. That's a good choice. Are they all Cosmo? No. Ah, the Lalande, the glorious Lalande, and two Lalandes. Landa? I don't remember how to say this, or maybe I don't, not that I don't remember, maybe I never knew. Anyway, almanac time. We are now at war with Great Britain, and look at our budget. Just about second in the world. We're above the U.S. I mean, remember, tensions has a lot to do with budget, and the U.S. tensions are very low. Germany's are reasonable. So it's going to be, wow, you and me against the world, 11 to 24 when all the rebuilds are done. So we're outnumbered 2 to 1 on the best of times, and currently about 4 to 1. Uh, make that 5 to 1 in the battle cruiser department. About even on light cruisers. And 2 to 1 in destroyers. 28 submarines to our 10. Okay, so there shouldn't be as much. I, I could have just checked this. If we were going to war with Austria Hungary, we would have needed all those minesweepers. But, or good God, Italy. Now, this is one thing that AI does, so be a little careful about it. They build a lot of submarines when they lose the rest of their navy. <laughs> 1 in 6. <laughs> Italy has nothing left. Um, so they build a lot of submarines to compensate for losing because submarines build really quick. And they are kind of like a great, great equalizer, since that's what the torpedo is supposed to do. So anyways, um, that looks like we're in for a tough fight, I have to say. But I'm really excited about this. So sorry, I, the screen wasn't up. So I'm going to save right here. I'm going to exit. So thanks for watching this episode, and I'll catch you back for the next, where France is at war with Great Britain.